a few opportunities in Korea. First, you want to thank you all for coming. I'm Dan, uh, for those I haven't met, and I'm the publisher uh, at iBooks. iBooks was um, a dream of mine about 20 years ago, where I was lucky enough to have travelled a reasonable amount, and everywhere I went, I met people who were doing amazing things with their lives, and I kind of got increasingly disillusioned with the celebrity world of putting celebrities on a pedestal, and these ordinary people like you and me doing amazing things with their lives and getting no airtime at all. So I made it my mission that I wanted to champion these people and publish stories and books about ordinary people who went off and did extraordinary things because I found it really inspiring and it gave me permission to go off and live my dreams. Um, so I feel very lucky that over the last 20 years I've managed to um, publish a number of books uh, doing this. And the latest, latest is from this man. Uh, which I'm very, very grateful and excited about. And Do you know how big that land is? Do you really think that price is possible, the old man says? Caddy and I are with the owner of the piece of land we love. Uh, our hearts sink. We can't go above this price, so I tell him that I'm wasting his time. Then he makes me an offer, nearly half the amount I'd proposed. I counter-offer slightly lower. Done. I sit dumbstruck. I've been haggled down. <laughs> you have a new baby, a house to build, wells to dig. I understand too, perhaps. In the meantime, we lived in a small roundhouse beneath a large fromagère tree. This is also known as a capoc tree. Fromagère is the French term named due to the use of its wood for making the boxes for cheeses such as camembert. I had an odd experience with this tree. It was tens of metres in diameter, perhaps 30 metres high. Its branches home to numerous bats and birds, while the roots were crawling with snakes and lizards. I approached the tree to photograph the beautiful red flowers that were emerging from its base. It was a sunny day with still air and birdsong. A breeze picked up as I approached. It got stronger and stronger the nearer, nearer that I got. As I reached a point a few metres from the tree, I was actually leaning into the wind. All the loud bird chatter had stopped, and I looked up to see a single cloud racing across the sky, and a small whirlwind of dust around my feet. I turned to go back home, back to the house, and the air became still again. According to local belief, this home, this tree, is home to a genie, a spirit that may be good, but the default assumption is that it's bad. Some Jolla, Jolla is, is my wife's tribe, some Jolla believe two babs are genies, and I'm not helped by my name. Sai, Simon, Sai, sounds like the Jolla word, Esai, which means vampire. 